What up, Kicksaholics? What up, Shoot2? It's your boy Buggin, and uh, we got a special unboxing today. Um, nope, it ain't the 11s. Uh, don't got any 11 money for myself. Um, I'll get to that later. But um, right now, uh, for my birthday present, I actually opened the box already. But um, special unboxing. In the wake. Tons and tons of Iversons coming out lately. These right here were something special to me. Uh, let's get into it. So, size 12, personal pair. 12 and a half would have been so much better, but 13 would be too big. We got uh, the Reebok Question Mid. So there's some Iversons. White. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> cool green. Color Shaw. Uh, yeah, anyhow, so don't really know much from this, but let's go ahead and get into it. And I got a custom coming up on these. Bam! Like I said, I couldn't wait. I opened the box. I had to uh, show my son that joint. But yeah, it's size 12 personal pair. Got the little tag here. It's not like a hang tag. This part got to go. This part's going to be white. I'm going to do a custom on that. But green toes. Got those Celtics. These are supposed to be for the Eagles. They're the gridiron. The Reebok gridiron. Philadelphia Eagles, which are kind of the enemy team. As uh, my mom tried to raise me a Cowboys fan, but I'm a Bears fan. But still, my God, green toes. Let's try to get that sunlight on there. Oh yeah. Man. Those green toes. They heal. Oh man. I'm not really a big fan of the outsole. But once I get that weight on there, like you can kind of see like it's a little blown out. But once that weight is on that midsole, I guess it's supposed to be for the Eagles wings on their uh, helmets. They got that gray on the sides there. But once I get that white, it shouldn't take me long at all. Then, uh, you know, wow, some some perfect Celtic joints. I'm from Mass. I'm a Mass hole, so yeah. But uh, let me know what you think. Drop a like on here. Uh, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'll let you know. Uh, it's been a really slow year. Unfortunately, I've been unemployed since the start of the epidemic. But, uh, or pandemic, whatever. These are soft on the bottom. It's weird. Well, I mean, the gum bottoms, obviously, but yeah, these will be pretty grippy until they get dusty. But these right here would be so perfect with like a nice green or white Celtic joint. The inside, that gray, uh, serve two purposes. One, it's like either the gray Celtics jersey. And I can leave it like this for the gray Celtic jersey. And maybe just wear them one time for the one time. Before I actually do some uh, some work on them. But, um, yeah, that gray is gone. These are perfect. The pictures don't do it justice. The original, I guess this was all, uh, I don't know if it went down this far. But, like, it was up until here, it was all mesh. And it was kind of like this grayish mesh looking on the tongue. They're kind of gray. Yeah, I guess they are gray, but you can't really, like, tell tell. They just look like whatever. But, um, yeah, on the tongue, you got that green Celtic slash Eagle green. Then you got the green on the eyelets, which is, oh, my God, so perfect. You get the green on the, the symbol there. Reebok. That beautiful green on the toe. Man, it's just, wow. That's that perfect. Then you got green in the in the little air bumbles, the uh, unfortunately false uh, false technology they got in there. They took out the actual tech, but um, you know, put some nice insoles. But yeah, that that outsole is like kind of cool, I guess. But I wish they were like just gum bottoms. Those would be hard. Man, that'd be perfect. I'd be making those in 
in 2K. It's like one of my favorite shoes to keep making and making. But you got the green on the outsole, then you got that weird marbled grayish goldish looking color which is probably not going to look too good once it starts getting dirty but it don't even matter to me it's the bottom of the shoe and it at least it's not white i hate white outsoles gum bottoms would be cool but they got like that three in the philadelphia eagles font like the old school you got that shiny green on the heel with the white the white question logo try to see I think this is like a suede and then also let's go to the insoles which are going to be hard to see when you try to pop them out so I'm probably going to have to pop them out to wear them anyway because unfortunately they're very narrow and I have a very wide foot but again I didn't want to go with the 13 because the 13s they uh they're way too big I had to get like some new toes and the 13s and man I guess I should loosen these up before I start trying to take out the insole. But... Oh, come on out. Come on out, insole. Got some paper in there. It's not cardboard or anything. These kind of deserve something better. I really wish that they left the midsole white so I didn't have to do any work, but it's going to be worth it. Hell, they're worth it just like how they are now. But here they are, the insole. It's got their gridiron. Uh, he had a pair of Cowboys ones, which I wanted, but they were done up kind of like the uh, Emmett Smiths, like color blocking wise. And they had that gray, that, I mean, that it was like gray mesh or something. No, it was gray leather up top. But like over here, they were done up kind of like the 11s, which they. Iverson admitted that he designed these after the 11s, like the eyelets, and then also like the toe, how it was shiny and stuff. And some of the models you'll find the patent leather or, you know, the colorway goes around the bottom here. Um, and this leather. Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. It's, it's a little stiff. It's cold out. So, I mean, it's in the 40s or so, 30s, but... Yeah, it's like, uh, sorry, a little stiff, but yeah, definitely these are nice and soft here. Um, I kind of wish, I don't know, these were like more me metallic or whatever, but these are perfect for my Celtic stuff. So these are like a birthday gift, a sea day gift for your boy, bug in. But yeah, these are beautiful. Beautiful. Not in any way, shape, or form an Eagles fan, but these Eagles shoes hit it right on the head. I'm glad they didn't go with the weird green that they've been using or whatever. But, yeah, so, like, because they're gridiron, they got the football field on there, on the insole. They're very, very dope looking and nice feeling. And I like how they got that tag in there, which probably ain't going to be, like, super comfortable to wear. But, still, I'm going to put some insoles in there anyway. I just got like some Hefe Lux. Holla at your boy. Um, I will say this about Hefe Lux and Souls though. They, the starter ones that I got, they were, I got them during a Black Friday sale. And they were um, like two for like, I think I paid like $17.99 shipped and everything. And um, they're normally like 20 bucks a piece or something like that. So, I mean, I, I came up, but at the same time, like, like I was saying, like they don't particularly feel like, uh, like, and I'll put those on camera later, like boost, like I was wanting, but um, yeah, man, those are so dope, and I like the gray on the inside, even though it's subtle. Like I wish it was green and green on the back of the tongue, but um, at least the, at least the the liner will be kind of saved a little. And it's subtle, so it's like it doesn't throw it off too much. I mean, silver and green, green and gold, they go together. And it doesn't really, like, oh, um, well, you have to wear this color with it. But, yeah, these go with the, the gray Celtics jerseys. Um, old and new. Like that city-type jerseys. But, um, yeah, I love these. I might put some green laces in, some round green laces. I have a couple pairs around somewhere. But... I think these are straight for now.
at least until they start looking dirty or something or until I can find the green ones and see how those look and switch them up how I usually do but um yeah I love these even though it's fake technology that uh hex light that's not hex light like it's uh it's just not I don't know why they took the technology out these were already kind of bricks but they're not as light as they used to be I don't think but yeah so I would say like those uh oh also those uh like I was saying, those those Hefe Lux, if you see DJ uh, Hess, what up, DJ Hess, you see him talking about them and stuff, like, you might want to check them out. Uh, they're different than gel insoles. They don't feel as soft, but when you wear them, I, I got to say, like, my feet used to, like, go numb a lot, and um, I have diabetes and stuff. They swell, so that's another reason why, like, ordering my size kind of sucks, but, like, the gel insoles give me more room, but, like, they bottom out, like, I've I had mine for a long time i need to get some more but like um the uh hefe lux ones they're kind of like springy and um you don't really feel them as much like again they don't feel like you're wearing a boost but that's what they should do that's what really reebok if you're listening hire me i have some great ideas like why not throw some og models with the with the boost i mean if, if you ain't gonna do the, the technology properly at least try some with the boost that might be lighter and function better and be way more comfortable but i don't know it's just something like even i don't know if the this it was like this on the outside and the boost was in the middle i mean you might as well just get you some some of those hefe lux joints but i'm i'm just saying like um exactly like boost i don't know like i heard like the the other ones the uh higher end ones they cost like 30 bucks a pop but they um, basically like they feel better. But the thing is, like they're thick, and the one even the starter ones I got, they're not that great. But they're thick. They're thicker than like than regular insoles. So like if you barely have any room in there, they kind of eat that up. Because I was wearing my threes last night, and they were kind of hurting my feet a little. Like just because like the threes don't fit too great. Like the Jordan threes, they are to me they're not that great fit and even a, when i want a, a, a 12 and a half when i'm able to do a 12 and a half like still but anyways that's getting off topic but like let me know in the comments below is this a w for my c day shoes my cake day shoes these are beautiful 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 and then just for good measure make sure the other one doesn't have anything different about it Oh, these are so freaking gorgeous. I'm so hyped I got these. I wanted some, you know, 11s just like everybody, but I already have the Space Jam, so that's what I was going to get to also in this video is to see if, if my uh, son wanted his birth his uh, Christmas gift to be these, which were big Celtics fans. And he already decided on these, but I had uh, gotten on the wait list. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Damn! If you wanted these to be his uh, Christmas gift, or if you wanted the uh, the 11s, which man, those things—they're beautiful, but they oh my god, they're so expensive. And these ones, man, like they give me a little bit of breathing room. Maybe I can get him another gift. Plus, you know, we wear tons of Celtic stuff, so and he has like these. Uh, these silver ones that he's still wearing, but I wanted to get him a little bit bigger size. I don't know what that is. That's really weird. Oh, that's just lint. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was something coming through. And it's also the sweat sock material on the inside too, which will probably attract lots of sock lint or whatever, but it is what, oh, they got it on the inside of the tongue too. I just noticed that. But yeah, 12 and then when were they, they have a, a born on date, I don't look like it, made in Vietnam, hmm, I don't know, like Reebok, you're coming up with some great concepts, and I'm glad to finally have a green toe that I don't have to pay out the butt for, I love these eyelets, these eyelets, I don't know what's going on with this one, it's weird looking, <laughs> but these eyelets are beautiful, I wish that sun didn't just hide just now, but, 
yeah, these these are it to me. They're, they're beautiful, gorgeous. But um, oh yeah, so he has like I was able to get a reserve pair, but they're only a ten. I wanted to get them like a ten and a half just to be on the big the safe side. Like I know eleven is gonna be huge. He's wearing some shoes like some Jordans now that are like in the nine and a half range or whatever. But um, yeah. So I don't know. He's got till tonight to. But they're kind of of course they got to be far out. But man, these are beautiful. I'm glad I got these joints. Out of all of the, everything dropping and stuff like that and the craziness of the year. I'm just glad like I finally got a pair of green toes. I need some new blue toes. Mine are like falling apart on the inside. I really don't like that gray. But even with the gray, for now, till I can customize them, that's all gone. That's gonna be white. It's gonna be stark white. That gleaming white, cocaine white, midsole to go with everything else. And this is kind of grayish. But it's not like easy, easily, I don't know. And it's like a football jersey, kind of. It's more of a mesh than, it's like a softer, much softer mesh than, um, you know, the netting that they had that was netting and netting and netting. But these still, like even with that sweat sock material, hopefully they don't get too much of the, um, damn, damn when they hit the ground fuck okay i'm a little mad damn it we'll hit that with the toothbrush hopefully that'll come out it's not that noticeable though the piping on these joints is notorious for catching stains it's just not that good of a material ah that fucking blows all right but anyways yeah so this has been your boy bugging let me know what you think are these a W or do you not care? Do you think I'm stupid for not wanting to get the, the, um, not even caring, like, you know, about the 11s? Like, a lot of people, like, I like them, but if I didn't have the Space Jams, I'll be kind of going nuts over right now. My son's, like, he grew out of his stuff, so that's why I really wanted to get them for him, but he says that he likes these better. And I think I'm going to go with that because, honestly, it'll save some cheddar and I might be able to get him another gift. But, like, um, and then it'll give a nice little project to paint all this white. Even if I don't, I mean, shit, these are still fly to me. They're still fly. God, that's really starting to irritate me now. Didn't even put them on. I should do an on feet with some Celtics gear, but... Probably won't catch too many on feats on my channel. I could though. I mean, maybe you can put that in the comments too. If anybody's still watching. I know it's been a while, but like I said, this has been a really slow, messed up year. I lost my job at the start of the pandemic. And i um, been relying on some unemployment that was there and then it wasn't there. And then, so, you know, funding wise, like, I just ain't really. I mean, I've been doing lots of trips to the mall lately. I guess I can do that, but there wasn't really much there either, so I think maybe I'll do that. And there's more people, so it isn't as depressing. <laughs> like, because uh, the mall's dying. My main mall, Lloyd Center, it's like, uh, probably got to be my favorite mall here, but I might be doing a trip to the fancy mall today to go pick up those uh, 11s if my son changes his mind, or just to, to look at them. But that's a bit of a trip and a bit of some gas so i don't know maybe just so i could see a different mall the fancy mall kind of rich mall i guess <laughs> but yeah it's been your boy bugging you got those those illy al from philly dow got those question gridiron joints the eagles but really, they're the Celtic joints to me. Let me know. Did I take a cake day L or a W? I think this is W, a huge W. Uh, I took an L right there. But again, I'm going to try to get that out. Hopefully, that's just surface. It's like the more I keep messing with, the worse it gets. It's like a little back here too now. Fuck. All right. But uh, yeah, let me know what you what you think. 
like, subscribe, hit that notification, and uh, we out. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and all that other good stuff. I appreciate the love. And happy holidays to all my my uh, loyal Kixaholics crew. And the rest is YouTube. Know how we do. All right, we out. Deuces.